on. Give me one moment and we're going to start all together. Hold on one second. It says resume the podcast. So that I don't have to repeat myself. Give me a moment. We'll find it. If you're on Facebook and Instagram at the same time, just let me know. Here we go. Natural Forces Studio. And if you're not in my Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook, come join me as well. All right. We're going to start in just a moment. Give me a moment to see if I can pull all of this technology together. Let's see if it's going. And then we'll move forward. All right. It looks like it's live. There we go. All right. So I'm going to trust that it's live in all the places and we'll move forward. All right. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. For those that don't know me, Tarianne Hyman here. This is my live stream, part of my Empowered Spirit podcast. And this is a live stream on Sunday night where we focus our energy, where we take some moments to breathe. We look at what's going on in the cosmos. And we also look at the wild unknown. So definitely come in and join me for a few moments. All right. Lots going on. That new moon energy. It's just a beautiful time right now to be out there planting, to notice who you are. Taurus brings up that some kind of stubborn energy, but also the persistent energy to build your self-worth, to really know what is it that you're growing right now. I mean, look around you. The seeds are coming up. The plants are coming out. The herbs are growing. We model that energy from Mother Earth. We bring it right in and we open up to what it is that we want to plant. And that is just really, really important right now. What can you grow? How can you take your confidence and really Tune into that self-worth so that you can attract what it is. I mean, think about it. If we don't trust who we are and we don't build that self-worth, we get a little bit of doubt going on. And then it's hard to be clear. And when we're not clear, the universe doesn't quite know either what we want. So really right now is the time for the cosmos to fill your feet on the earth. Really feel that connection to how it is you feel with Mother Earth right now. Do you trust in her abundance? Are you bringing that energy into your life? Are you kind of scattered and going around and all up here and not taking the time that you need to slow down? In fact, we're going to see some really amazing energy starting tomorrow all the way through the full moon. Some really great opportunities coming your way. Things are going to feel productive. You're going to be able to get stuff done. But in order to do that, we really must slow down. I know everybody says, oh, I don't have time to slow down. Oh, I'm too busy, right? I can kind of sometimes hear my own self saying that. But the truth is... When you can slow down, when you can spend some time in meditation, clearing your thoughts, you'll be much more focused. You'll have that clarity and much more productive. So you will have more time. Really important. There's so many things that having a spiritual practice can offer you. You know, May is actually mental health month and having a spiritual practice can help with your mental stability as well. It can give you that higher power to believe in. It can give you that hope and trust, right? When we have a spiritual practice, and sometimes we can just kind of like tune in and say, okay, I trust the universe is offering me exactly as I need it to be. We may not understand it, but when we have that spiritual practice, when we can tune into that deeper part of who we are, there's a depth to your life. There's an awareness that you bring forward. And there's so much that you can look to within yourself to help you understand what it is that you're dealing with. I know I've had my challenges. I've had a lot of changes coming up. One step at a time, and that's what we do. And a spiritual practice will do that. It will slow you down. It will build that inner confidence. It will build that self-worth. And this is exactly the energy we're in right now. So why not use the cosmic forces to help your path a little bit easier each and every day? And a spiritual practice will definitely do that. And I talked about it on the podcast this week. I started a three-part series, like what's so great about a spiritual practice anyway? All right, check it out. The podcast, actually, I'm loving to say that is sponsored by Harvest Moon, great vegan healthy food. I've actually started on her cleanse, Jen Dunbar. Check it out, harvestmoon.love. Get on her list. She'll cook. You can order meals, all vegan, all alkaline, really great. So sponsoring the podcast. And this last week, we talked about why do we need a spiritual practice? Why do people whisper about it? Why are people kind of shy about talking about the elements that go into a spiritual practice? And this next podcast, the second one is going to be about Reiki energy and how that helps. And why does that have to do with the spiritual practice? And why are people whispering about that? And the third will be about intuition, the byproduct, how when you build your spiritual practice, you can build your intuitive ability. So be sure to check it out. It dropped yesterday. 
All right. So as we go through this week, we bring the forces of the new moon with us. We feel refreshed. We're going to slow down. And that's exactly what Monday is going to call you to do. You can get productive. A lot of magic, quote unquote, in the air. So tune into that. So you can bring it forward. Really important. Very important to tune in. Ground your energy. Tuesday, you might have a little bit of a hiccup, some of the Venus energy coming in with relationships, but that's okay. And Wednesday, we're going to have that moon in Cancer. What better time to go into your intuition, to feel those feelings, to understand the psychic energy that's all around you. That'll be about Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday, we kind of get back into the flow. And then Friday, we're really going to start to have things flow through us all next week. Really productive, really all about tuning in to the chances and the opportunities in your life. You can do it. And the cosmic forces are right out there for you. So really important. So even today, if you can, take a little bit more time. Write out your intentions. Ten intentions for the new moon. All right? Write them out. Can you think of ten? Put them out in paper. All right? That's the best way. Get them out of the mind, into the physical. Taurus is physical realm. Put them in the paper so that you can open up and really see them come into your life. Really important. They'll love the energy of Taurus. It's a really beautiful time. It's ruled by Venus. We've got some Venus energy going on. So take some time. Get a haircut. Refresh your look. Refresh what it is that you're doing. Clean up your space. All of this is going to help you then to see the progress that you're making during the spring energy. Really important that we do that as we move through this next week. Again, I can't even emphasize it enough from what I've been reading cosmically. There's lots of energy coming in, lots of opportunities for you to bring that in and be aware of the energy that's going on for you. All right, really great opportunity. So this is the time to grow. Check in my notes here, being grounded, practicing your skills, making sure you have a spiritual practice. If you need some help, reach out, call me, or go download my free guide, Five Simple Steps to Setting Up Your Practice. I work with the elements, fire, air, earth, and water that will help you to build your practice. Again, I can't emphasize it enough how much it's helped me as well. In fact, on the podcast, I cited the NIH, National Institute of Health, really recognizing that people that have a spiritual practice are more able to be stable in their mental processes as well as find a deeper meaning to their life to help them through whatever illness and pain they're working through. Really important. All right. So again, as we go through this week, we're starting out on a cycle Monday that's going to help bring in a lot of energy. We've all been working on moving forward, spring energy to help you grow, to help you find those opportunities that are moving forward in your life. All right. So I'd like to just offer a short meditation to really help with that self-worth energy that Taurus brings us and reminds us to work with. So if you can, wherever you are, Take a moment with me, please, and let's energetically align our energy, taking a nice deep inhale, and exhale out. Inhaling, bringing that breath up from the earth. Feel the earth around you, and exhale, bring it back down from the higher dimensions as you call in your higher self, the wisdom of your soul and your spirit. Call it in. Feel that alignment right coming in. Feel the spiritual body aligning on top of the physical body. We're generally so far out. Pull it in. Inhaling, bring it up the body. And exhale, bring it all back down. As we go to set the spiritual space for us tonight, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, and your own spirit guides, we ask that they work with us and through us to surround us and protect us as we open up our energy to this week. In the medicine wheel, we sit in the direction of the east for the spring energy, for the sun that rises, for the new seeds that we plant, for all of creation, and we anchor in all of the directions. To the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center, setting your intention for this week. And as you exhale, release the intentions out, no attachments, no judgment, setting that energy for you. And as we open up to this meditation, placing one hand on the heart, one hand on the third chakra of the stomach. And as you inhale, take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, send that breath all the way down, deep into the earth. Inhaling, expanding through the belly and the side ribs, opening the chest. And as you exhale, pull that breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. On the next inhale, say to yourself, as you inhale, I am worthy. And as you exhale out, I am enough. 
Inhaling, I am worthy. Exhaling out, I am enough. Inhaling, I am worthy. Exhaling, I am enough. Notice how this feels. Inhaling, I am worthy. Exhaling, I am enough. Just even using the I am. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more time. Inhaling, I am worthy. Exhaling, I am enough. Just feeling your feet on the earth. Feeling how that grounded energy feels for you. Calming, quieting, centering. As we take this beautiful, peaceful energy and look to the cards for our guidance this week, using the wild unknown, choosing one, two, or three. So the card that is the influence for all of us is a great card to come forward. It's the Daughter of Wands. So this card is all about the passions, the fire, that psychic energy to really go in and manifest what you want. Look at the figure eight, infinite potential. Look at the flower, the growing, the budding. This is like really great energy. The daughter brings that young energy, the psychic energy, the ability to really take that innocence of life and bring it forward. So that's a great opportunity to get out of our own way, right? And bring that passion. What is it you desire? What is it you want to see come forward? So that is for all of us to bring that passion out into the universe. Know that inf infinite potential is out there. It's coming for all of us. So just really finding the ways to tap into it. So how do we do that? All right. So choose a card, one, two, or three. The first one, if you chose one, this is the emperor card. So this is all about being strong, being diligent, putting the work out there, standing up, like really having that presence to do it. All right, it really is. Tuning into this is the sun and moon, kind of like an eclipse energy. What is being blocked out? What can you notice? What can you bring forward so that you can manifest? A great card for doing that diligent work, step by step, building it logically and with discipline. All the things we do. Now, we always can manifest, but there always has to be a little bit of putting it into the physical, and that's going to help you to do that. All right, if you chose card number three, never a favorite that comes forward, kind of like a yeah card, scary card, nine of swords. This is all about like the dark part of who we are, the fear. It's letting that fear get in our way. All right. And sometimes when we're out there trying to manifest something good, something new, we do have fear come up. All right. So this is a great card to remind you to get out of all of that stress and struggle. Don't get caught in the drama. Let that shit go. Just let it go. We don't need to hold on to it. Very important. All right. Especially to manifest. We don't want to be in the fear. We don't want to bring that in. All right, and the third card is a perfect example for us to remember the Four of Swords. This is to take the time to get out of the mental chatter, which is going to help you with this card. Get out of that mental chatter so that the, the intuition can open up, that third eye can open up. Keep the thoughts above. Don't let them come in and bring that anxiety forward for you. That only gets in the way of manifesting. All right, so the energy for this week is really slow down. Take your time. Look for all the signs and the ability to manifest around you. Be diligent. Be logical. Get your work out there. Be logical in the sense of one step at a time, all right? But let the intuitive parts come in. Don't get caught in the drama. Don't get caught in the fear. Let that stuff just go. Get it out of here. You don't need it. It's done. And take the time to rest. Take the time to let those thoughts be done and just like let them be more even and more productive and not all scattered and into the brain, all right? Don't want to do that. All right, so really great um, inspiration, really in alignment with what's going on. Let me know how that feels for you. What is it for you? How's it going? All right, let's see. I don't know if it's recording right now either, um, Brooke. I had some trouble on Facebook. So if it is, I'm sorry. If it's not, I'm sorry. But Cindy and Brooke, thank you all for joining me. I will pick cards for you if you'd like. All right. Coming up for me, let's see what's going on here. Checking in with Instagram. Instagram seems to be doing pretty well. So I mentioned the podcast. Definitely check it out. Great episode sponsored by Harvest Moon. I have a Reiki One coming up Saturday. Please join me. It's a great opportunity to live, learn a new skill. Really great time. 
You can always come join me to, to meditate downtown at Forma with Orchestra and all their gang on Thursdays. Really good time. And then, of course, I'm at Birmingham Yoga Wednesday nights, Reiki Circle and Restorative Yoga. All right. Really great time to jump in and to see what it is going on for you. All right. Feel spot on. Hey, Jackie, didn't miss too much. All right. All the great. All right. You can start off tonight with a card for you. The card that comes forward is the Six of Swords. All right, so this is reminding us, too, that there has been some some kind of some hard energy, some struggle going forward, but put it behind you so that you can rise above it. Look how the card goes from dark to light in the rainbow above. So it's just kind of acknowledging that you have been through some difficult times, but that is done. All right, so be able to take this new moon energy and step forward. Don't hang on to it. All right, great card. Really good card. Let me know how that sits for you. All right. Let's see. All right. Hey, Cindy, maybe I am live. Let's see. I'm going to draw a card for you. Cindy, this is a two of wands. All right. This is a card about being really, really determined and really focused, which is a great card for this week coming up, these next two weeks. Make a decision of what it is you want to do and spot on. Keep going forward in that direction. Look at all the rainbows. I love the way she uses the colors in these cards. So maybe you have been a little indecisive. Now's the time to pick a path and go straight forward. As I see it, there's no wrong decisions. We just do it. And then if we, we have to change course, we have to change course. All right. All right. Spot on. All right. Excellent. All right. T. Peppy, you may have a card. This is the Ace of Swords. All right. This is a new thought. This is like, like, wow, an aha moment coming forward for you. Perfect timing for the new year, for the new moon, I mean. Have you had something like that happen for you? If not, get quiet. Be still and bring it in. That's new thought, new idea coming forward for you, especially in the mental plane. All right. All right, Jackie. Jackie. I dropped the card. <laughs> Jackie, here we go. The Four of Cups. All right, Jackie, this is a card to remind us to really take gratitude for what we have. All right. I know you move fast and I know you're always reaching. Pull your spirit back. Honor gratitude for every little detail, okay? Every little detail. Honor gratitude because that's what you're going to expand on. And I know the frustrations can come. I know they can, but just remember, step back, slow down, have a little gratitude, all right? And that's going to get you through. I know this is a great two weeks coming up. Keep remembering that, being really present. All right, you got it. Hey, Ron Harris, how are you? All right, not quite, but yet I keep asking. All right, get you some selenite, all right? Um T. Pappy, get you some selenite and just really meditate with it. And that's going to bring in the, the um, clarity. All right. If I've missed you, let me know. All right, Cindy, yes, you got the card. Brooke, I'm going to draw a card for you. I think Facebook is working now. So, Brooke, we got the death card. All right. So this is time to shed a new skin. All right. To shed the old skin to get a new skin. And I know you've just upped your Zen, your Zen body um, shop there. I forgot the name of it. Zen is... Zen Body Works, I think it is. So this is a time to also take that outer layer, release it out so that you can come into your work really strong and really fresh. A great card for where you are right now. Definitely. I love it. All right. Anybody else I miss will do. Ron, give me a thumbs up. Ron, I got to come up to Port Washington and visit you guys. All right. If I miss you, just post again. Technology moves pretty fast. I thank you guys all for joining me tonight. Lots of changes going on for me, too. Taking my own advice one step at a time. And that's what we have to do. And the energy, again, I can't say it enough, coming in for this next week. There's lots of great things coming from now into the full moon. Being in alignment. Being where you can be present to catch those opportunities. The signs all around you is really important. So be disciplined in your practice. Sit for next a couple of minutes. I know everybody's so busy. But when you sit, when you're quiet, you'll see that you are more focused and more able to go forward in your life. Hey, Mayor, how are you? I hadn't seen you in a while. All right. Any other questions? Let me know. How does this feel for your week coming forward? If you missed you when you like a card before I sign off, let me know. Thanks for bearing with me. Facebook is just changing everything around. Hey, hey, Mayor. Mayor, I'm going to draw a card for you. If you like it, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> five of five of pentacles. So there is some change coming forward. This always looks like there is a little healing that needs to go forward. All right, so just open up to that energy and work in the physical realm. Get outside, breathe the air. 
touching the mother earth so that you know what it is that you're you're able to let go of and make the changes fives are all about change and it is in the physical world so what are you doing how did you start a new job is something like that going forward do you feel like there's a little bit of like uncertainty all right so that would be a good way to look at it for you as well keep moving forward all right amy thanks good week to all very good all right anybody else so, Mary, that was for you there. So, there was somebody that posted on on Instagram, and I couldn't figure out how to do it, but she was asking about a farm and when it was going to come forward, which is actually kind of a bigger reading. So, if you want a private reading, please do reach out. But for that card, um, the card that, that she's asking, I'm just going to give you the tower. So, changes are coming, all right? And the tower always indicates swiftness, all right? Things are going to change so if you asked about your farm and when, know that things are changing fast, so be prepared to do that. And if you'd like a more detailed reading, please reach out. All right? All right. So everybody, thank you again for joining me. Many changes are coming. Feel your feet on the earth. Bring that abundance in and really work on that self-confidence. All right? Why not? Who are you not to shine your light? Who are you not to stand forward with the passions and desires that you so desire? I'm here for you. Reach out if you need some help in your spiritual practice. Now's the time to get that energy going forward for all of you. All right. So have a good week. Let me hear from you to your spirit. Namaste.